Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch HaMavayim. Parashas Chuma. today's learning should be Lila Nishmas, Shemini Yashu Ben Shmuel Yaakov, Avram Mordechai Ben Yosef, Sar Fege Bas Menachem Zev, Began Eden, Tehim Menu Chassam. They should be Melitz Yisham for their whole families. I'd be asked God Tzedek. The Minchas Chinuch raises the following She'ela. Minzvah Tzadi Hei, Ois Tes. By the way, Mitzvah Tzadi Hei is Gematria Yafe. It's suggested that the reason why Minog Yisrael is to wish Chasen and Kala, Dar Shilach Zal Oila Yafe Zain. Oila Yafe, Yafe is 95. Oila uh, Yafe is 95. What we're saying is they should be Zoicha to Mekayim, the 95th Mitzvah of Binyan Beis Hamikdash, that their home should be a virtual Beis Hamikdash. But the Minchas Chinuch asks the following question on the Rambam. <clears throat> the Rambam in Hilchos Beis Habachira, he describes and explains the image of the Menorah, the Shulchan, the Mizbeach Hazahav, the Kiar, and the Rambam does not describe how to make the Arain. Haloi Davarhu. Why does the Rambam not describe how to make the Arain? So there's a Perush on the Rambam by Rabbi Yitzchak Dilion one of the great Chachmei Italia, and he protects the Rambam from many of the questions of the Ramban. He passed away in the year 1444, 1446. Uh, the Chida speaks about his great praise, and that he was the Shoresh of many Tanoim and Amaroim, and the Beis Yosef calls him Rabbeinu Hagadol, and he called the Sefer Megillas Esther after his mother. He says, Karasi Shem Zeha Sefer Megillas Esther for two reasons. It will uncover the hidden Svarais of the Rambam. And number two, it is a, a tribute to my mother whose name was Esther. And I, when I was busy writing these Svarim, he says, my mother was taken. To me, she was called Lavoy al Hamelech Malchay Melech Malchay Amlech Makadash Baruchu. So, therefore, I called the name Megillas Esther. By the way, we find that other Gedolim called the names of their Sarma after their mother or their grandmother. The Chavos Yoyer was named after his grandmother. Tzia in Lenefesh Chaya. Chaya was the Noid of Yehuda's mother. The Megillas Esther offers the following answer. He says, that the reason why the Rambam does not describe how to construct the Aron is because this is a mitzvah that's not noyheg ledoirois. Because never will we ever have to make another Aron. Because the one that B'tzalo made is Kayam ledoirois and was not destroyed. It was Nignaz. And it will be returned to us and therefore there will never be a reality of another Aron. And therefore the Rambam did not describe how to make the Aron. However, the Minchas Chinuch himself offers this potential answer that since the Aron was Nignaz and it will not be revealed until the Mashiach comes and never again will we make another Aron, there will never in history be another Aron. Therefore, the Rambam does not describe how to make the Aron. However, the Minchas Chinuch is not satisfied with this answer because he says it is known that our Torah does not rely on Nisim. As the Ramban explains in Bamidbar, so even though the Aron was Nignaz and it will be revealed, Bedarchnes, this is not a valid reason why the Rambam leaves out how to make the Aron. There is a mitzvah of Asiyas Ha'aron Ladoira. It's just like the Rambam counts the mitzvah to carry the Aron on the shoulder and the love of not removing the Badim, even though these will not apply until Mashiach comes. We don't have an Aron now. And the Rambam writes about what will be when Mashiach comes. Now that point is not so compelling because the love of not, of not removing the badim and the mitzvah of carrying on the shoulder will, once, will it one day be applicable. Masha'in came, there will never be a mitzvah to make a new Aron because when Mashiach comes, we will have the old Aron. 
But the Minchas Chinuch says the Rambam lists dinim that are noyheg at only certain times. The Rambam should have counted making the Aroin. It was a mitzvah when the first base of Mikdash stood. For example, what if the Aroin would have broke? The Torah doesn't rely on Nisim. And maybe La'asid Lavai, what if the Aroin breaks? And it happened in the days of Eli. The Aroin was captured and it was there for seven months. And in Igeras and in the Medrashan Shmuel. Agoda Shmot says, Shal grabbed the Luchais from Goliath, and at that time they needed to make another Aroin. And what if Mashiach comes and he uncovers the Aroin and it's cracked a little bit? We're going to have to know how to fix it. By the way, the Ramban in his Hasagos on the Rambam, Mitzvah Sasei Lamed Gimel, was already Matmiya on the Rambam why he does not count the Mitzvah of Asiyas Ha'aroin. The Ramban adds, that it's not true that the urn was only for the Luchas Habris. Don't say that in the Bayasheni, where there were no Luchas, the urn was Nignaz, or according to the opinion, the urn was Gala Lebavel, because the Rambam still counts carrying the urn on the shoulder as a mitzvah. It must be the mitzvah to carry the urn of the Levim of the Kaihanim is not governed is not limited by time. Whenever there's an Aroin, you have to observe the halachas. So the Ramam should have enumerated the mitzvah of making the Aroin. And furthermore, the Ramban says the Aroin is destined to be revealed. So it's a mitzvah that will be for all generations. That if it's chas v'shom broken, we'll have to know how to fix it. So the Ramban argues on the Rambam. And he learns that asiyas ha'aroin is b'chlal minyan ha'mitzvahs. Now, by the way, the Rambam himself learns that making the kalim is part of the mitzvah of Binyan HaMikdash. But the Rambam, the Rambam does not count um, the mitzvah of Asiyas Ha'aroin, the Rambam does. Okay, that's a Ha'ara I wanted to share with you today. And uh, please join us this evening at 8.30 for an amazing shir, continuing on the journeys of the Chida. Hope everyone could join us at 8.30. Have a wonderful day. Bracha